Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today's a match reaction, it's Luton Town versus Bournemouth. But before we get on with today's match reaction, can we drop a like on today's video? Comment below your thoughts about the players' performance against Bournemouth. Let me know how you felt the boys performed. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And guys, if you'd like to become a member of my channel, click the link down below. You get exclusive perks if you guys want to become a member. So, Luton versus Bournemouth, what are my thoughts on on the game well i'll give you guys my pre-match half time and full time so before the game i was a little bit surprised with the lineup i feel sorry for morel because we signed him for a reason and he's just not getting game time at all and i do feel sorry for him because we've signed him and he's i bet he's thinking like i've come to luton to play more and he hasn't played that much i don't know what he needs to do to get into the side if i'm being honest but I don't know if he's falling out with Nathan Jones behind the scenes. We, obviously, we don't know what's going on behind the scenes. But for me, that's not right. He's a good player. You know, he's got good technical ability. So, yeah, I feel really sorry for Morel. I do believe he should be starting. Also, before the game, I didn't know what type of system we were playing as we were playing Potts and Norrington Davis. I didn't think we were going to play Norrington Davis as a left winger in this game. And then, obviously, the first five minutes proved that we were just playing five at the back. Norrington Davis playing left back, Martin Crane playing right back and Dan Potts playing as a centre back and that actually worked quite well throughout the game. Dan Potts did get a little injury towards the end, something he needs to get out of because he keeps getting injured, I don't know what's wrong with him, does he need to get stronger? I'm not too sure. He's quite injury prone, Potts, and he needs to get that out of his game, he needs to sort something out with him because he can't keep getting injured. I thought he the whole like defence today was brilliant. I thought the back five, well, back six, actually, including Shea, were brilliant. I didn't ever feel like Bournemouth were going to score. I thought their chances, which they had, were more half chances than anything. And the only way they were going to score would have been through our mistakes. And we didn't make any mistakes at the back, if I'm being honest. I thought we were quite solid. And I was very comfortable with how we played at the back. I thought we came the closest through Danny Hilton. I think he should have done a little bit better. But it was a great save by Bournemouth's keeper. You have to remember as well. Bournemouth have got players who have played in the Premier League. They've got players in that squad who can play in the Premier League. I personally feel like they're good enough to play in the Premier League. So I thought we'd done quite well. Because Bournemouth have a better squad by a mile. So... For us to get a draw against them is a good result in my opinion. But yeah, first half, I thought we came closest in the first half with Danny Hilton. And yeah, it was just that final pass in the first half which let us down really. Like decision making was a little bit off. And I felt like if we got that right in the second, we could get a few goals. And unfortunately, that did repeat in the second half where we got into really good areas and we just couldn't. That final ball just wasn't working for us. We couldn't get that goal. We couldn't, obviously, break down that Bournemouth defence. That's been the problem for us this season going forward. It's not... I don't know what's going on with us. It's just not good enough, really. You know, we need to be making the most of our chances, making the most of us being in dangerous areas. It's just we can't score for some weird reason. We just find it really hard to score goals. I like the fact that Hilton and Collins started up top today. I feel like Collins performs better with another striker, but also we look more dangerous as a team. Right, I got a film like this because my camera keeps going out of focus. But yeah, I feel like we perform a lot better going forward with Collins and Hilton up top. We just look a much better team with those two like in the side. I think going forward, let's try it out more with two strikers up top because we do look a lot dangerous going forward. So, if Hilton doesn't work out, maybe try Cornick. If Cornick doesn't work out, try Nombe or Loire Loire. We've got options to try this more than once, is what I'm trying to say. Overall, in the second half, I thought we were the better team. I did think we were better than Bournemouth, if I'm being honest. I thought Bournemouth were quite poor today. I was surprised with some of their subs, which they made. Maybe they were tired, I'm not too sure. But yeah, I thought we were playing a very poor like Bournemouth side. And we could have nicked it right at the end. Nombe was clean through on goal. Bad first touch, which let him down. It wasn't a penalty in my view. Not enough to bring Nombe down. If that was a penalty, then every time you touch a player will be a penalty. So not enough for me to say, yeah, that's a stonewall penalty. It wasn't. 
It was just a poor first touch and Nombe couldn't recover. Maybe if he was on the pitch 10 minutes earlier, he could have done better there. I did think Nathan did make his subs late. I thought we could have made him a lot more earlier, but he didn't. I don't think he wanted to ruin the balance in the game. I'm not too sure, but I felt we should have made our subs a lot more earlier than we did. And then the last chance of the game, Bournemouth nearly scored an own goal. Dushbra Hall, yet again, another brilliant performance by him. Plays the ball across the six-yard box, and they nearly like put it in the back of their own net. And we nearly won the game 1-0 in the 95th minute. It wasn't meant to be, but a great performance by us. Going forward, it's the same, really. Just need to get better going forward. I felt Pelly was good today. He provided a lot of energy in the midfield. I thought his passing was a lot better as well. He looked very dangerous. I thought Barry did all right. Shea kept a clean sheet. Another clean sheet for him. Proving that he should be starting over Saluga, maybe. Saluga was on the bench today, so he'll be looking at that thinking, I've got some competition now. So, yeah, plenty of good performances from certain players. We just need to push on now and we get a week off. A massive week for us to regroup and go again for Reading away, which will be a very difficult game. But there you have it, guys. That is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Drop a like on today's video if you did. Comment below your thoughts about that game against Bournemouth. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Don't forget to follow me across all my social media if you haven't done already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.